What's going on everybody? My name is Andy from MSI. Today we're going to talk about the surround mode. Have you seen it? Have you actually experienced with it? Today we're going to tell you how to set it up and what it looks like with some gameplays. Check it out. To set up for surround mode, all you need is gaming laptop, HDMI cables, um, adapter from the HDMI to Type-C, display port to media display port. Please keep in mind that every laptop might be different, so these are the requirements set up for this particular machine. And of course, the three gaming monitors, the G25C from MSI. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the video cables starting from left, the mini display port, and this is the uh, HDMI to Type-C adapter like we talked about. So go ahead, plug that in. Last but not least, the HDMI. Boom, you're good to go. Windows 10 SOP, pretty simple. Press the Windows key and P simultaneously to turn on the screen selection and choose second screen only. Open NVIDIA control panel and you can fast access it by right click on the desktop. Go to configure surround FIS SX and tick the box for span displays for surround and click configure. A pop-up will appear to remind you to close some background programs such as the MSI SCM, the Dragon Center, or the MSI Reminder. Right click on Windows taskbar and click Task Manager. Find those programs and click End Task to close them. Click Continue, then choose or select the typology you need. Select the monitors you want for your typology, then click Enable Surround. Windows should now recognize the multi-displays as one big display. After setting up your surround mode for your system, now we're going to get into games and show you how to set up surround mode in your games. Let's start off with Dirt 4 and Ghost Recon Wildlands. First, you go to Options and then head on to Video and click on, make sure the resolution is 5760 by 1080 and also make sure it's on full screen on window mode. First, you go to Options and then you go to head on to uh, graphics and then go to uh, video mode and also make sure the resolution is 5760 by 1080 and it's also on full screen mode then you're good to go so that's how you set up the surround mode through nvidia control panel and the configuration might get a bit tricky at times but eventually you'll get used to it and the reward is pretty damn well worth the effort if you ask me just look at the gameplay pretty amazing right by the way this is gt75 most importantly, you need a system powerful enough to run the surround node. So don't forget that. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video. My name is Andy, and we'll see you next time.